reason why all of you are here right now. So, as you guys know, I've been covering this whole shambolic affair with Brendan Schaub and Annie Liederman and Kalila from Tiger Belly and now Bobby Lee and Brian Callen. I've been covering this thing from the very beginning. And I did do one of the last updates was when Brendan went on Tiger Belly to try to explain away or to rationalize why he decided it was a good idea to put out some news or to suggest the idea that Tiger Belly were behind the Fire and the Kids subreddit. It's an absolutely preposterous suggestion to put out there, but for whatever reason, he thought the best way to counteract people getting at him for sliding into Kalila's DMs and for allegedly offering Annie a walk, a truck walk, he thought the best way to kind of counteract it was to get his crackpot you know, team of, you know, black rock operatives to infiltrate Reddit and to find a user who allegedly on there is doing some sort of paedophile stuff, doing some sort of um, harassment things and is now um, also have evidence of them being one of the major trolls on the Fire and the Kids subreddit who's kind of put out some bad stuff about him and his family, friendly sponsors and all this other nonsense. To me, personally, if you ask me, I think it's all complete bullshit. I don't think that those files that he's talking about exist or if they do, whoever he's hired has clearly swindled him and just given him files that look like they're bad or look like they're worse than what they are, but they're actually just, you know, transcripts of people writing on a forum. I don't think it's anything what he's been suggesting it is. But anyway, I reacted to it. I reacted to the audio pop portion of the show so now the video portion has come out we're not going to go from the start again because it was too long i ended up doing a two hour flipping stream about this so we're just going to do the last 20 minutes of the show i'm going to pause it from here time from time to time if you're upset about me pausing it you're going to have to suck it up unfortunately you know this is a stream i'm going to have to comment on it here and there i'm going to not i'll try not to do it too often but if you want to watch it yourself you can um the obviously the episode link the episode title is there brendan shaw's spectacular spectacle extravaganza you can find it on the tiger belly channel and you could check it out yourself if you want to watch it but we're going to watch it together i'm going to pause here and there um please forgive me if i pause too much but it is what it is let's go we have someone that somehow got a hold and hacked us. We just want to know for ourselves if right. we And you should. But yeah, that's and why it's very important and, we see these. But he, and if, here's my thing. I'm not accusing anybody in here. Mm -hmm. But let's say in some weird world, it's somebody that you, you, you know you're associating, you had no idea it was happening. I still don't give a shit. I just want to stop. Yeah. That's it. Okay. okay. That's the only reason. That's what, you I hear it. that? <laughs> Whoever is the incel living in my backyard doing Nick? this? All right, so let's do a new segment. Hang on, oh. hang on. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> I have. I have. I have oh wait, wait Clyde, la Last thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so when you said, I, I flew to Austin and tell Rogan about this. Yeah, that's my next question. No, okay, can, can I come? Yeah, yeah, this? yeah, yeah. Flew to Rogan to do the his show. Okay. This is a. Uh, 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 aside from that. Okay. Mm. Copy. And, that that and, makes and, sense. And I want you to know, as as they look you in the eye, when I would tell them, I I would. Preface with every every time I go, I don't think Bob and Kyle are involved. The Tiger Belly email is on there. Okay. And every every single time. Never ever and I swear my kids never went, Kyle is a goal. Sorry, I have to stop it here. Isn't it quite bitch made to go over to Austin anyway and go and cry and complain about an issue that you created? Regardless if he didn't say anything super incriminating, he didn't say anything super disrespectful, he didn't say anything that was, you know, heavily blaming them. Just going and crying and complaining to Daddy Rogan is really, really, really gross. And I think I said it in the previous podcast, but this definitely does illustrate or definitely does put some credence or definitely stamps fact on the matter that a lot of people on the Fire and the Kids subreddit were saying back in the day where they used to say, oh, all Brendan does is go and run to Daddy Rogan. This is clearly evidence that he definitely does when he's got problems with people in the scene, whether it's, do you remember? Yeah, actually, do you remember the time when he got, um, he was complaining or he said some story in a podcast about, um, what's his face? Who was it? I think it was, uh, what's his fucking name, man? The guy that's really deadpan and he's delivery, white dude that does comedy. I remember he mentioned a story where he was doing a set at the same time as him and that guy went on stage, I mean, after his set and basically ripped him. And I think he went to Joe and complained about it or something like, oh, like crying. So he's got, he's got some previous for doing that type of thing. Really strange. Old digger cut, none of it. Can we just do a so, new segment real quick? So, but, you but, can but, still talk in the new segment. Go ahead. R right? 
New segment. <laughs> That's it. That's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was I just needed to do it. I have, I have OC. That I was have your OC tension OC. breaker. Yeah, with yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. But overall, George Lab. That's also I wanted George Lab. Overall, with the but, timeline. But, but, of but then also when you when you went to so you know you got to remember too. Rogan's like an older brother to me. You when I do anything, I call Rogan. That's how I. That's how I operate. Right. Yeah, yeah. I asked his advice on this, right? And then. Um, you know, he would give me his, his advice, how I should handle it. But then the, the other stuff is hiring a, a private investigator. I don't know where the fuck you'd find a private investigator. And just uh, the same when you go, I mean, I would handle it like this. As far as pri a private investigator for what? What the fuck would I hire a private investigator to follow you to do what? I they make sense. So that's what bothers me. Whoever got that back to you. Multiple people corroborating each other's stories. But go ahead. Okay, but it, whatever you told him about me, whether it was uh, how we're This is the reason why this guy lost this whole interaction. Clearly what Kalala is saying is true. Clearly he did go and tell multiple people about this and say it was all their fault and whatnot. Clearly, because she's saying multiple people have told me the story and it's all corroborating, right? It's all kind of links. Um, the facts check out and he's still denying it. You're here now. Everything's been blown up. I think I don't think I think she said before she makes a point where she says that she doesn't she thinks that Brendan underestimated how many people would get would kind of relay the information back to her. So I'm a think from back in the day, Brendan's always had this really private and somewhat sincere and somewhat kind of, you know, brotherly, sisterly relationship with these comedians who he could kind of go to in confidence and and kind of snitch on people about without again back to them that it was him that did it. But I guess because people genuinely like Bobby Lee and they genuinely like Kalila and they think they're awesome people and they love their podcast, love them as, as humans, they were looking out for them and relaying back what Brendan did. Or maybe because of the stuff that's happened with Annie and all that other stuff, Brendan's not in anyone's good graces behind the scenes. And people are like, no, just let him kind of wither away in public. So they're kind of going out of their way to just let everybody know, nah, like, you know, if he says this, I'm going to let you know. But that's really interesting, their point. Even when he's presented with an opportunity to just own up and be like, yeah, I fucked up. I did tell them this. He still doesn't take it. Whatever version you have in your and head that can, what you told we him. We can call those people after this and confirm my story. Oh, a thousand percent if you, would if, love if, to. If, if that makes you feel better. It does make me feel yeah, better. Yeah, we can do it. As soon if as we're you, done with this, we will call those three people. Thousand percent. Yep. Anyways, would love that. Would love nothing more. When you did tell version, uh, Rogan, your version of events, mm -hmm. I just want to know, for my own peace of mind, did he believe it? I don't know. He, he to, to him, it's like, you know, you're never going to beat the internet, man. I mean... No, regarding me and Bobby. No, because I, I, I told him it's not you guys. Okay, but everything else regarding... The information that got back to me is that you told Rogan things, obviously, that were very slanderous about me. I'm going to... I want to believe that wasn't the case. In in all of the stuff, right? There's still, um, you know, people. T you know, like the telephone thing, right? Yes, like mm -hmm. things the get telephone. Yeah, that's why I'm saying if I redo it, I mean, things I would get changed call through her people, other people's communications to others, right? You know what I mean? S some things are not easily proven. You know what I mean? It's he said, she said, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So it's like, you know, I think in terms of what we talked about in this last hour, right? is we got all of it out, mm. right? Not, not yet. There's more? Go ahead. If you Maybe you got it out. I, I, I was... No, I, I, well, I mean, I'm sitting here listening to it, yeah. right? You know, because what I want to spend time with now... Quick one. Kalila is a goat. Thank God Kalila was there. She was the goat. She held Brendan's feet to the fire. <clears throat> she also ensured Bobby didn't squirm away because he clearly doesn't like confrontation and he's clearly very uneasy about the whole entire thing if there was a hole in front of Bobby Lee he could jump in and disappear into he would have jumped into it ages ago but I like that Kalila kept him there even though it was uncomfortable and he clearly didn't want to be there and she also kept going at Brendan didn't stop she she basically made this without without her this podcast would have been an absolute shambles now is um getting to a place where we can move forward from it right yeah I don't a think and and, and we, we create new rules you know what i mean i mean that was what yeah. the segment was what they call new rules oh but new rules uh, that's a that's a bill Maher. and that's why i didn't do it yeah. that's why it's oh. a new segment 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I did the new set. You said you in a second again, or? Yeah, but let's. Don't, don't. I'll, don't do, I'll do a different one. I'll do a different one. I'll just do it. No, just do it. I'll just do it. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get back on track. And, 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 no, so here's what I want to do now, okay? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> New rules. New rules. Um, what, how, from now on, this is how we're going to move forward, okay? Can we do that now? You can have your rules of how you're going to move forward, but I have my own stipulations too. But that's all right. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not the ruler of this thing. Yeah, yeah. slut kind of <laughs> am, but <laughs> I kind of am. But you know, here's what I want to do moving forward. Okay, I'm going to look you in the eyes when I say this. Okay, I would never slander you, attack you or in any shape or form online or to my friends or on podcast, right? Um, you know, you and I have, our relationship has changed from this 100%. experience. Yeah, um, it's going to take me a very, I don't know how long, me neither. right? So, um, Bobby's a better guy than me. Bobby is a better guy than me. He really is. He's a better guy than me, man. What other man would be comfortable even sitting down with a guy who slid in the DMs of their wife or their girlfriend, especially long term, the one that you're kind of building an empire with, the one that you maybe see a future with, regardless of what their relationship is. And again, I saw people on the Tiger Belly Red subreddit. I see people on the Fire and the Kids subreddit talking about Kalila and whether or not she's into some kinky shit like doing. Th it doesn't matter what she's into sexually. I don't care what they're into romantically. If Bobby Lee is a cuck on it, I do not care. That's not important here. What's important is obviously that he knew that they were together. They're comedic peers. Bobby Lee's an OG too. So if he sees Joe Rogan as an older brother, he should see Bobby Lee as an older brother too. And he violated that trust between them and their group by sliding into the DMs. No other person will be comfortable doing this. So the fact that Bobby Lee's doing this in the first place and he's being so cool and so, ch so cool, not cool, so chill and cool about it, says a lot about him as a person and it also really exposes Brendan because let's say the shoe is on the other foot. Let's run that experiment. Let's run that thought experiment. Let's, you know how he said, oh, um, define bullying. Let's, let's try and imagine a scenario where let's say Fia Vaughan decided to slide in the DMs of Brendan Schaub's girl or missus or wife, whatever, right? The people that on a subreddit refer to the Mexican, Joanna. Imagine they slid into her DMs. What do you think Brendan will be like? How do you think he would react? Or let's say Brian Callan, if somebody slid into the DMs of his girl, not the new one, but, you know, his his wife that he was with previously, who used to speak about all the time on the podcast, just imagine how he'd react. What do you reckon their reaction would be regarding all of that? It wouldn't be as cool as these guys would be. Kalala is being the only one that's being confrontational. And she isn't even being confrontational. She's still being quite measured because she knows her guy has to still work with these people and be in that kind of environment. She doesn't want to burn all the bridges or put him in an awkward position. But this could have ended really badly for Brendan. And I'm sure if it was foot, if the shoe was on the other foot, he would not have been this gracious. He would not have been this kind. No way. No way, no way. There's some engagements that I know I'm going to run into you. You know what I mean? That's in the near future. I think, um, I think we feel the same. I don't feel safe. That, does that make sense? Yeah, I just yeah. Don't Around feel, Bobby? No. I, <laughs> that, well, it's not even, I, I just, I don't feel good. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel good either. I, I don't feel Oh, that's why we're doing this. We thing. probably have that feeling in common. We have you see how he, you see what happened there? He went to play the victim first. I don't feel safe. Then he got laughed at and he changed it to, um, I don't feel good. But he went to say, I don't feel safe. Imagine a former UFC heavyweight saying, I don't feel safe to Bobby Lee and Kalila. <laughs> Absolute redacted. You have that same thing. I, I, I feel, don't feel good either. When, when, you, when you called me on Saturday, right before I got on stage, can be a worse time to do it. Yeah. Your fault. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm about to go on. What's up? And you're like, I heard this. I was like, I want to die. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but when you told me that, I know that feeling. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. I am so sorry you feel that way. I'm also going to co sign what he said, which is, um, I hardly know you. Um, I, I'm a very much a very simple boring person i like 
to free dive in the ocean. I like to hang out with my dogs. I certainly don't spend my days in a dark dungeon typing away things I about you. I would never want to intentionally hurt anybody. I don't even do that to people I dislike. I just don't do that, Brendan. Uh, I think it was the perfect storm, which is why I got so upset with the the, the trash talking on your other podcasts. And then this did you feel like we were this. coming for you? Is that what you felt like? Oh, fuck. Like, no, I don't think you were coming for me. me. I, I just literally was like, oh, because I don't do that. At all. I'm like, I don't get it. Why? why the f- I don't, OK, guys, why we're, doing, do we're doing this is uh, the new segment. So why well, I, I don't do what you see. Stu, I'm really again, I said before, I'm really curious as to why he doesn't just admit that the Annie Lee Demon thing happened. But then. One of the theories I put out there before was that maybe the reason why he doesn't want to say the end leading thing happened or admit it is because that might be the one thing that his wife has said, if that's true, I'm leaving you. And I remember somebody making a comment on one of my videos before they said that he doesn't have a prenup and supposedly, uh, supposedly the LA marriage things, if you get divorced or whatnot, is brutal if you don't have a prenup. So he might have to give up half or whatever he's got, right? So maybe that's the reason why he's being so hesitant and trying to skirt around the Annie thing because what irked him most was the Annie thing because Annie went hard. She said, oh, I'm not going to suck your unfunny dick. Yeah, I mean, she buried him. What Kyla said was, you know, just a, an occurrence that they had seven years ago. It's still scummy, but that, that I don't think was a really thing that touched him. I think what Annie said touched him plus Annie's very well regarded from what I know looking from the outside in of podcasters like people love Annie Liederman like she's generally funny she's a good podcaster and stuff people think she's gonna be the next one coming up bloody blah 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 so I think when she said that that really triggered him and also that's a really bad thing because that's something that probably happened quite recently because he's known Bobby Lee and Kalila longer so it's easy to say, oh, that thing happened in the past. It was just a DM. You can, you can, you can, you, you can lie about that easier. But it's hard to lie and to make the truck walk thing sound not as bad as it does sound. In it, it's very difficult to do it. It's very, very difficult to make truck walk sound innocent. Because he said, oh, remember he said the other day, oh, I just what is she mad because I gave I tried to give her a lift home or something, a ride or something, a ride. You went there to ride your flipping Nino, probably not a ride home. <laughs> Let's be real about that. I just tell the, like, but I made the announcement. We're, we're, I went to yeah. that, 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 I did that whole yeah. thing, right? So my point is, is that you know, I I I don't want to revert back to the hour chunk that we did. Yeah. I want to go more into a positive, you know, what I mean, direction. Please do. Okay. So let me finish what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. So that being said, it's you know, I don't feel safe as well, you know what I mean. But um, I want to tell you that um. You know, in terms of you as a comedian or in terms of you as um, a podcaster, I have all the respect in the world. I think that, um, you know, and I, I, I say this to Theo sometimes, too. You know, he went from reality show MTV to becoming <coughs> a real credible <coughs> comedy entity. And I feel the same about you. So and that's how I'll always feel. And that means the world. To okay. The so world, because I think you're one of the best comics in the world, okay. Bobby. All right. Always so, have. so when it comes to th- that, you know, I'm just telling you. I think you're one of the best comics in the world, and I also want to fuck your girl. <laughs> what a compliment! What a compliment! Whatever you hear, right? I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? I'm not. Uh, I play uh, Stardew Valley. I play like Stardew 12 Valley hours twelve hours a day. day. You know what I mean? I don't, and I watch Dodo like like, like, like in the squirrels uh, when is, they. Is that a video game? That you no, no, yeah, it's Stardew Valley is right here. But game. did you turn off my thing? Because I don't want to restart the day. Okay, good. Thank you. Anyway, I was playing earlier. My point. Uh, so, so from, so from <laughs> now. This is first day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The show should be <laughs> yeah. fun, man. I right. promise the job gets better. It's only up from here, Bubba. <laughs> and I also want to. This I also want to address the fans and and there's. Because obviously we both have similar fans, but we have fans. You know I mean that only listen to your podcast, and we have fans that only listen to Bad Friends and Tiger Belly, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Right? Um, there is no war, right? There are there are no sides to this, right? Um, that's why I'm here. Yeah, that's why um, I just want everyone to you know calm down online, right? And that's why we're doing this is so that we can all kind of. And, you know, and, and there's a, there is just last thing I want to say is 
No, there is a side, Bobby. There are sides. There's right and wrong. What he did was wrong. The spinning narrative that he's an, a victim is wrong. The bullying and the intimidation of you was wrong. The threatening of your career was wrong. The telling Kalila in a roundabout way or telling you to tell Kalila to get get in line or to get your bitch in line was wrong. The insinuating that Kalila's a whore and that's why it's justified that he did what he did or to explain the way that, you know, you're part of the Reddit thing and you're the, you're the one that flipping started the Final Kid Reddit. That's the, the Final Kid, sorry, subreddit and the hate around it. That's all wrong. There's right and there's wrong. It is what it is. Um, maybe some would say if you wanted to be really over cynic, if you really went to nitpick, you could say maybe Kalila shouldn't have brought up the sliding into the DM story. But like I said before, when you do engage in some sort of effort to try and hook up with somebody and it doesn't work out, it's part of their story just as much as you as you use your story. Even if it is embarrassing, even if you sit in someone's DMs on the altar just as you're about to marry your flipping wife, it's still their story to share if they want to share it. A year later, 10 years later, five years later, it's their story. So anyone complaining about that is talking out of their ass. That is right and wrong. It's maybe not a war, but there's right and wrong in their story. But, you know... Bobby Lee's a real nice dude, so he's obviously trying to be nice about it, but let's not, you know, let's not try and spin another narrative. Even hearing you talk now, there is empathy that I have. You know what I mean? A thousand percent. A thousand times, like right? I feel bad. Okay? Squeeze I feel out. bad. What? <laughs> no. About it. Okay? But you handle it wrong. It's fine. I... I I'll let it go. And I own that. I, uh, and I apologize, right. Bobby. I did not handle this correctly. So from now on, and I don't want to be here again. Me neither. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to talk about it again. I need to move on. I need her to heal. I need her to get happy and free. Okay? Yeah. And I can't live like this. Me neither. Okay? And you can't either, and that's why I have empathy for you. Um, so that's my two cents so how do we do that bobby how do we get there well, what, we're, what do we do well you know kalila's probably the smartest in the room what do we do kalila <laughs> no well she's gonna say what she's gonna do and i don't know what I, she's gonna do i don't know what we did, do. we never talked about what what, what yeah. that's what i want to do because i also want to be able to go to the laugh factory and see you and not and do if i'm after you at a club still be able to do the show and bring you up on stage and work together in a professional way, in that way, right? 100%. Right. Um, in terms of, of Brian, I don't know. Bobby, so I, that's and, and, and Brian told me to tell you this much. I can't tell you enough. And you're going to see I'm the kid. He is so sorry. It, it doesn't matter. What I, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just telling you. I know. And, and he admitted that. Insane. He's like, I agree. Yeah. He was level 10. I mean, it was insane. He was level 10. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I, just thinking about it makes me tremble. You know what's funny, right, about this whole entire thing? As bad as Brendan has come out looking, we all knew this about the guy. We all knew he was redacted. We all knew he was a bit of a bully. We all knew he was a bit of an oaf. We all knew he, for whatever reason, didn't take the golden opportunity he was given, the, the golden ticket, the career he was served on the platter. He didn't treat it with any kind of respect. He didn't honour the craft and all these kind of things. And clearly some of us knew this time, this, this, this situation would end up catching up with him right all these things he's done in the past and stuff and just his general attitude will end up kind of you know shoot him in the foot but i think one of the other real bad victims of this whole entire affair have been brian callen brian callen's come out of this looking worse than he probably has looked from the back of the rape allegations because as bad as the rape allegations were if you were being charitable to him because you're a fan you could say it was a he shed he he said she said issue which it isn't obviously because there was a lot of evidence there that sounded like brian brian probably did it and all the other sexual harassment cases sounded like something brian would have done but if you're being charitable you could say cancer culture trying to ruin him he's a funny guy blah blah, blah. what's well, a proof you should have said it when it happened okay whatever but this was in a situation where you clearly got to see the guy's true colors in brian callen because he according to Bobby Lee and Kalila, went off the handle on Bobby Lee in a way that you would have never expected for somebody who's known the guy for 20 plus years, going on to 30. They're actual comedy store alum. They've been in the scene as long as each other. They were on the same show, Mad TV, maybe not at the same time, but they are from that same school. 
So they've known each other intimately in that LA comedy scene for ages. He's known Bobby Lee way longer than he's known Brendan Schaub. But Brendan Schaub goes back to Brian with this kookamani story about, you know, the tiger belly people being in, being uh, responsible for the fire and the kids subreddit. it. Then Brian Cullen flies off the handle, jumps out of the window, jumps out of the flipping, you know, seven story fucking window of a building and absolutely lays into Bobby Lee in a way that would probably show Bobby Lee his true colours, right? Because he was basically holding in all that stuff, calling him a pussy, calling him a cuck, saying all these mad things to him. So it's actually interesting that in this whole situation, Brian Cannon's actually ended up looking the worst out of this because of how mad and crazy he went at Bobby Lee. But also on the same token, he's also now trying to spin a narrative that he's now a victim because everyone's going after him because, you know, Bobby Lee's basically a sacred cow amongst LA comedy scene podcast fans. You know, people love him online. You can't say a bad word about Bobby Lee. They even get at Kalila because they think Kalila's not good for Bobby. Bobby's actually somebody you can't touch. So the fact that Brian Callum would go at Bobby was such a such a misstep, such a dumb move. And then also, you know, hitching your wagon to Brendan is like, really? This is the guy you want to go, you, you kind of want to die for. Like, this is the guy you want to die on the heel of. The guy that, you know, like, I, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense. And I said it previously before, you didn't see any of this kind of fight when it came to Crystalia. He didn't go after, he didn't protect Crystalia the same way he's protecting Brendan. He didn't even protect his flipping, I, I don't want to go that far with the family stuff, but you know what I mean. Let's go. All right, so. Um... And, and, and we talked about, in fact, he's done that to me once over the 12 years I've known. He's done it to me once. Mm hmm It's a lot. It's it was a lot. Yeah. It was like um, we covered it. It's a lot. All right, anyway, he apologized. All right, so that's yeah. all right. That's he, he, <laughs> I just he, he feels I, terrible. I, did you see? I went into a fucking you wind went tunnel. Into a rain. I went into a wind tunnel. <laughs> right. I, I went into yeah. myself. Your eye was twitching. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, it's a yeah. yeah. It was a lot, and even you, because I remember even at times when in the call you were like, whoa, whoa, Bri. Yeah. <laughs> He, like when he says that, yeah, I was like, "God damn, dude!" Yeah, yeah God damn, dude. So, um, <laughs> so it was that's, a lot. Yeah, that's my. He apologized. That's my it, two cents. And I, I know it's gonna take time, and I don't know if you ever get there, but Brian, I know for a fact. I know Brian better than anybody on this planet. He loves you, man. Uh, and he uh, fucked up royally. Uh, you don't have to say anything. I'm just telling you how okay. Brian feels. So that's what <laughs> I'm gonna do. That's a fucked up kind of love, Brendan. Yeah, that's Holy what I'm. That's what shit. I'm. Gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. No, I come from a long line of murderers and violent offenders. Murderers. And they don't talk to me like that. Murderers. Oh yeah, yeah my yeah, uncles are true. not good people. So um, now I wanna now now this is what we're doing where we're talking. Now he wants to give Kalila respect because she's got murderers in her family. That's the only time he wants to give her respect. Cool. Thinking about the future, all mm -hmm. right? I don't want to go to the past, right. all right. right? I'm willing to. So, come. yeah, so what are you going to do from now on, from this moment forward? I, I don't need an apology from they, you. They, they, I, I don't need apologies from you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't need an apology from either of you. Um, do you see what this man's doing? Do you see how he's trying to fish for apologies? I don't need an apology from you guys. Duh. Who's going to apologize? What are we apologizing for you for anyway? What are we apologizing to you for anyway? Sorry. What is there to apologize? What did they do wrong to him? At most, if you were being charitable, if you were being a Brendan cockholster, if you were being BGL in this flipping um, equation, you could say, maybe Kalala shouldn't have brought up that seven-year-old sliding my DM story. But like I said before, it's his Kalila story to share just as much as it's Brendan's because he tried to shoot a shot at somebody that was in a relationship whilst he relationship too. You fucked up, you swung and a miss. Sometimes you do that with somebody and they want to do the whole secret behind the gate thing and kiss you in the dark sort of stuff. Cool, it happens. But sometimes you do it and you get called out or someone screenshots your thing and shares it with everybody. You can't then get angry at the person for doing it. You've ruined my life. Now my family's left me and I don't have anything. She's taken the G-Wagon. She's taken the Aston Martin and the Ferrari. Or she's taken the Aston Martin Well, I got in as a Ferrari. No, you can't complain that because you got them involved too. So what do they have to apologize for? I don't get it. But this is the thing. This is what shows you just how corrupted this man is. Like that he legitimately still thinks he's owed an apology. For what, bruv? 
you haven't even proved that they're behind this Reddit thing. The one thing that you're kind of hitching your flipping victim card on. And now you fishing for an apology. You guys aren't owing me an apology. I don't expect an apology. What? What? Huh? Okay? Okay? This man is crazy, bruv. Um, I, I think you should look into the information I'll give to you after this and yeah. do whatever you want with it, you know? Yeah. And you know what? Guess what, Brendan? If there is any wrongdoing on any part of my company, True. You not only will you be the first to know, we will, that it could possibly mend all of this. Yeah, yeah. I mm. believe so. I want you. If you, if that, if someone in our company, you can fuck me, bro. Physically. You can physically fuck me, dude. No, I kind of hope it. <laughs> I hope it's you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck you can do what that Down syndrome guy did to me. <laughs> fuck him for a lollipop for the whole Sunday. <laughs> Well, People still come out. Yeah, that was a great clip, dude. It's a great, it's a classic. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. We had, you know what I mean? No, you're the, one of the yeah, best yeah, guests yeah, we've yeah, ever yeah, had. Yeah. So, um. But yeah. listen, if you heard, just put yourself in my shoes, right? That anyone you knew, and you heard that they went to Rogan and said that you were a thief, a gold digger, Definitely. and that you were responsible for criminal behavior on Reddit, things like that. Would you like that? No. And how would you handle that? I would n now. I'd call you direct. I'd call you direct. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I'm telling you, Kalia. I know you don't know me. That did not happen. Look at Kalia's face. <laughs> she does not believe him in the slightest. Look at that. Look at the contrast. Look at the contrast between that face and this face. <laughs> Look at the difference. That face and this face. That, she just doesn't, you know what this reminds me of, this face? This reminds me of, like, imagine there's a scenario where you are out there in the streets cheating, doing something that you shouldn't be doing. And then for whatever reason, the wife at home knows that you're out there doing the stuff. But then when you walk through the door, she asks you, hey, how was your day, darling? How was football? How was hanging out with your friends? And then you say, it was amazing. It was great. And then she says, really? And you says, yeah, it's amazing. And she's like, really? And, and, and she says something to you, so who's Nadine? And you say, I promise. <laughs> I know you don't know me, even though we've been, we've been together for 17 years. <laughs> but I promise you, I don't know who Nadine is. And then she says, really? I promise. Really? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway quickly go here big up the super chat from um dennis michaels big up you thank you for the super five dollar super chat it says so if you're canon in addition to being accused of sexual assaults you want people to see the side of you and how you treat the weak psycho exactly exactly bruv he's come out of this looking so if anybody needed some sort of public rehabilitation it's him but he comes out of this looking the worst he flew off the handle at Bobby Lee, one of his closest, longest friends in that scene, right? At the mere suggestion that he might be behind a subreddit. He didn't even get the facts right. He didn't even analyze the flipping information that well, probably. He didn't even, you know, sit down and do a bit of critical thinking or do some sort of pseudo intellectual stuff that he loves to spout all the time. He didn't adopt all kind of prescribed to any of that stuff he just went off the handle based on what brendan said which was clearly a lie or was clearly doctored or manufactured or whatever and then he ended up what destroying a friendship and you never know and the thing about the brian thing who knows how many other friendships that's also destroyed in the background who knows what other things have kind of fallen off the wayside because of how people have seen he's treated bobby lee in a situation the damage is the damage that he's done now is going to be long 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 standing but yeah, Kalila's face is fucking incredible. She does not believe him in the slightest because she's got receipts probably, isn't it? <laughs> and she trusts the people who said the stuff to her. But it's hilarious. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't believe you, but thank you for, for, for attempting to make me believe. That's all I can do. I don't, yeah. I don't know what okay. to tell you. Yeah. So let's, let's now let's go for a path forward. Is there a path forward or no? Aside from that, like, you know... Um, in terms of 
what we do. Look, at the end of the day, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate. I know it's difficult to to do. It all had of to this. be done, though. It had to be mm -hmm. done. Um, and I do appreciate you taking ownership for how poorly you dealt with it. This started in January 25, January 26. It would have been done. Agree. And 100%. I think that that that's the biggest lesson here is that for, for me, it's not Kalila. What's for, the biggest for, lesson here? Uh, the lesson is uh, the way it was handled, right? The the we sh I should went directly to you, but we didn't know each other. It, the 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 lesson should been, you know deal with it direct but for me like for you guys it ends right wow isn't the lesson don't slide into the dms of married women or people in a relationship especially if they're your friends shouldn't that be the lesson isn't the lesson don't solicit drug walks off of comedians who might be not interested in you in the slightest because that's another thing too to say I don't know, just talking from a guy's point of view. Again, let's be charitable. Let's be charitable because we're just analyzing this because it's, you know, it's gone now. You've watched this already. You already know what's said in this video. So I'm not saying, we're not going to say anything new in this clip. But I'm just thinking out loud here. Let's imagine a scenario where you're a dude and you want to proposition someone to a drug walk, right? You want to, you want to um, proposition a lady, a fellow you're interested in, hey, would you like to go on a drug walk with me tonight, right? You want to proposition them. And they know what that means. They know what that sounds like. They know what the, what those words are insinuating when they kind of hit the air. They know what's going down. Wouldn't you usually do that to somebody who you're either in communication with previously or somebody that you've maybe had a situation with a little bit? Right, that would be it, isn't it? You usually it would be someone that you've either you've hooked up previously, you've been close to hooking up, you've been exchanging flirty DMs, or so, you, there'd be something there that you'd want to maybe say, you know what? Let me try and throw some more bait in the water. Let's see, you know, they didn't mind my little kiss emoji thing, they didn't mind my peach emoji, they didn't mind my aubergine emoji. Now I see them in real life. Let me let me chuck a little let me chuck a little um drug walk in there. It's like when you're putting you know when you got oil on the fryer and it's really hot and you want to put some chips in there or some fries. Usually you do it like a little bit, like a corner. You just put it in it and you see if it's warm and then it's all bubbling. You just what you want to do, innit? When you're trying to offer somebody a drug walk, you want them to be interested. So you're like, hey, let me speak to somebody that's interested. But from from Annie Liederman's reaction. It didn't seem like she was interested at all. She seemed really offended, somewhat. She seemed dis she. It seemed like it was a level of disrespect that she didn't expect from him. Like, how dare you try and offer me a drug walk? I don't even like you. I don't even think you're funny. And you think I'm going to have sex with you. You think I'm going to engage in a flipping sexual act with you. Give you fellatio in the flipping front seat of your Ford Raptor. No. Go away. You know what I mean? It was really aggressive. It, it didn't come from a, oh, we've kind of had a sweet conversation before. Oh, stop being silly, Brendan. Ha ha he he. No. It was like a categoric go away. So I wonder what gave him the suggestion or the thinking that he should do it. Maybe that really shows how corrupted he is as a person that he'd even do that because he's doing that with somebody that clearly hasn't given any any interest beforehand and he's just trying to f make somebody feel awful. I don't know. 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 It's just a very strange, strange um thing to uh to walk to, to kind of do. And then to sit there and say, my lesson is what? My lesson is to go direct. No, he, and, he, and the whole direct thing as well, just to quickly end this point. Am I the only one who wouldn't be comfortable with somebody who, number one, tries to slide in my girl's DMs, then trying to contact her directly to say sorry? No, don't talk to her no more. Don't talk to her no more. You're going to either talk to each fist, you're going to talk to the shovel, you're going to talk to the end, to the tip of this flipping weapon, whatever. You're not going to talk to her anymore. I don't get this whole, like, I should have gone to you direct. Why should you go on direct to the person? Why? Why Why even? Why are you even speaking? Your mouth should be wide shut. You know what I mean? Kanye West style. Like, God damn it. For, for me, you know, I, I got to get, the, 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 with this Reddit shit, with the, with the Tiger Belly email, mm -hmm. if we get done with this, I show it to you, and you're like, it's actually this, this, and this, or we, that's not our email, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. 
because the account once I notified that it was happening, stopped posting, changed the email. Can you say what the email was? Sure. Just on air. Just mm -hmm. give, I want to yeah. make sure it's our email, unless it's like what is our email. It's well, let's just see what he said. Well, he had sent me a screenshot no, of a to sign up with that email and try to attack it. If yeah. Not, yeah, you're right. Right. Well, I'll, I'll just oh, show you all of it after. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Head, please. Okay. So, and then y you're, you. It doesn't stop for, you know what I'm saying? But you deny then that you felt under attack by the girls and that you had to double down and create this Reddit drama. Like, you deny that. I swear on my kids. Okay, so I you swear you on my kids. That's not you're insisting that's two separate um, things and not correct. Tied, not associated to one another. In any another. facet, that it wasn't a way to retaliate no, against I us. No, I swear on my kids. That it just I so happens that five days after the live show, there are Reddit accusations about me. I swear on my life. I, okay, it, it's very. Con I agree. Very convenient. Very mysterious. Mysterious. <laughs> he's so he's lying. <laughs> The thing is, as well, when you lie, you have to be a good liar, innit? it? And I guess, how can you be a good liar if you don't... But sometimes I think to myself, I don't even think it's a thing of not being a good liar. I generally think he believes what he says sometimes. I really do, man. I've watched enough content of Brendan. I was a fan of the fire and the kid. I generally believe he believes the things that comes out of his mouth. So maybe he has spun himself into a stupor, but he actually believes this whole Reddit conspiracy theory. He really does believe it. Or whoever gave him the documents again, because that could be another that could be another plot line. Whoever he hired to do this investigation or audit of the firing the kid subreddit, they might be swindling him. So they might have painted this narrative to kind of feed into whatever paranoia he had at the moment, and they just ran off with the money and left him with all this nonsense. Or maybe it's just narcissism. I don't know. Serious. Agree. Okay, my I, path forward. I, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I. There's nothing I love more on this planet than my kids. Okay. I swear on my kids' lives. Okay. That this team. Yeah. Brought up the Tiger Belly email. Okay. Okay. I, I I just love that you keep talking about a team and nothing has been produced. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but, but I have it right here. It. You're allegedly. gonna see it. We're gonna see it, and then once we see it. No, Kalia, okay, it's hold not, on. It's not allegedly. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Soon, soon as we get off here. It's a little unfair, though. We don't want to talk about this again, but... Okay. This is what we can do, okay? okay? We can re we can s look at it, okay. right? And when he leaves, if you... I'm also not really, again, so only towards the end now, so please bear with me. I also don't understand the relevance of this. Even if this is true, he's got documents that show that there's a Reddit account with the Tiger Belly email registered to it that's posting mad stuff about Brendan on the Fire and the Kids subreddit. So what? If it has nothing to do with them two who's sitting in front of him, what does this have to do with the whole truck walking thing anyway in the first place? Who cares? Who cares? So what you find an account that has some crazy post history on it? What does it have to do with what you did to them? What does it have to do with how you reacted to the girl's story? It doesn't make any sense. It's such a bizarre thing to kind of throw out there as a sort of, sort of distraction thing. Like, look over there. Okay. Do you know what I mean? It's like, who gives a shit about this account? Like, even if it is true, even if it is liking some deplorable post, it's commenting some crazy stuff, what does it actually matter in the grand scheme of things when it comes to this issue at hand? The Anne Liederman thing and the sending a DM to her. Like, what does it matter? You want to come back on and talk about what Comment. we saw then we can do that. Are you okay with that? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean it, de it depends how you go about it. No, the, I mean, know? the way I'm going to go about it is, um, oh, you slimy fuck. What do you mean, sure? Why can't they talk about it? He doesn't want them to talk. About, see, this is, this is why I think it's a lie. This is why I think it's a lie. Anyone that actually had this evidence or believe what, what the evidence was real, why wouldn't you just let them talk about it? Why can't they? So they can see it, but they can't talk about it in a podcast anymore. How does that make any sense? Now I know why people say they don't believe the documents exist. Now I know. I should have watched it longer. Now I know why people say documents don't exist. This sound, this seems very, very fishy. He doesn't want them to talk about it after the fact. <sighs> I don't know, man. This seems really, really dodge. Um, oh, big up another super chat here. Big up for to Joe for the $4.99 super chat. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. He says the following. Brendan's team started the rumors on Tiger Belly Reddit after Trash Tuesday said what they did. 
he's the one that actually did what he's actually accusing TB. Exactly. Exactly. I'm glad I'm not the only one that's flipping confused and also... Like, yeah, exactly. What jo what Joe said is exactly true. This is... What a bizarre reaction to that kind of question, though, isn't it? Weird. If there's levity to it mm -hmm. and there is something that we need to investigate, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? At this point, it's like... Um, because what... Like, let's like just, I don't know what, uh, how it works, but I'm pretty sure that somebody could create an email with the name Tiger Belly, but be different than Not ours. with the official email. Wait, but all of you guys sound just like. Yes, they, imagine, imagine not knowing how Reddit works, but then accusing people of starting a Reddit conspiracy against you. And also, why couldn't you register an account on Reddit with anyone's email address? Of course you can. How does that make any sense that you can't do that? It's just an email address. Whether or not you can verify is one thing, but you can sign up with that email address. Everyone does it. You can do it right now if you don't believe it. You could sign up with an email with Nike on it, Starbucks, Apple. Like, it's not difficult to do. It's just an email address. So weird. Like, as if email addresses are, like, fucking... Um, pin codes to your bank account or something it's like or your flipping passport number it's not that deep it's just an email boomers don't know anything <laughs> exactly. about reddit that's what you callan and shab sound like you guys are fucking running you don't even know how it works i don't either but at least i'm not claiming to be <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm not claiming, yeah, claiming exactly. to fucking know so regardless i don't of think you can sign up with a, a a certified email that's that's weird <sighs> Oh my god, I didn't see that bit. Look at Kalila's face. Look at Kalila's face, bruh bruh. Look. Oh, she's honestly, she's the she's the GOAT. She's the she's the um most valuable player. She's the MVP in this situation. God almighty, I didn't see that end bit. That's hilarious. Let's run that back again. <laughs> you guys are like boomers. <laughs> email with the name tiger belly but be different than not ours. with the official email but, but all of you guys sound just like boomers who don't know anything <laughs> about reddit that's why you callan and shab sound like you guys are fucking running you don't even know how it works i don't either but at least i'm not claiming to be <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm not claiming uh, yeah, claiming yeah. to fucking know so regardless i, I don't of think you can sign up with a, a a certified email that's that's where it gets weird <laughs> look at her face again <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go to the super chat. Big up Joe again for another four dollar ninety nine super chat. He says, and he's trying to use pedo and child abuse as a way to sh not show documents because ongoing investigation. Exactly. So that's the thing I don't get. It's an ongoing investigation, but it doesn't involve the feds or it doesn't involve the FBI. So he didn't take it to the police. So you find evidence of people abusing kids. Um, you found you, you found pedo stuff and child abuse stuff, but you're not willing to take it to the police. But then you use as a defense against all this nonsense that's happening in the flipping, you know, that you've caused with Annie Liederman and Kalala. That's what you're doing instead. Okay, classic. But yeah, let's just look at this face. Let's just concentrate on this towards the end because this is perfect. Let's see what they do. This is so good. A like, certified. Like, no, like nobody could use my actual email. George, for... your input? I'll say this. We um, had to do a kind of an internal investigation with our email. So there's only three people that have this email. So all of us went into the actual account to search our email, which is, I want to say it, but to see if there was a Reddit account made with that email, and there was no email. So we contacted Reddit. Reddit uh, has some kind of... George, you want to say what Reddit said? Um, you just put in your email to see if there's an email, uh, if there's an account with that email. Associated. 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 And yeah, there nothing, was came nothing, so that's nothing came back. Nothing came back. For our email, I don't know what email your, the team found. What you found, email. but yeah. in our email, that's what we found. So my point is, is that... Well, and to use your words. But, 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 but no, but I want to say... I'm is curious, that, though, yeah. But like I said, you know, when we're... When I say that we're, we're, we have a path forward, right? Forward. All these things that I, I just said about, you know I mean? I'm not going to, I'm not, I want to end this thing. So even if we read it and we come back on, I don't, I'm not going to do anything that's going to poke and, you know what I mean? This, this is my thing. Yeah. Even if you guys see it, however you feel about it, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Done with it. I'm o it's over. Okay. Okay. That's a relief. No matter how you guys feel, that's a I'm relief. Out, man. Okay. I appreciate you guys even having me on. Mm -hmm. Won't say. I mean, if I say something nice about you, is that all right? I don't. I don't know what you guys. Yeah, I mean, terms dude, you want to do. I don't know. I, dude, I'm just listen. I don't want to get 
I don't want to get a phone call at three in the morning from you accusing me of shit. I don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? Bobby, prior to this, yeah. prior to this, yeah. Do you have any recollection of me ever doing anything to you ever? When you were go- struggling, I found out from your brother. Did I not text you? Go, hey man, you need anything, Bobby? Yeah, Let me and, know. And, and that's have why. I always why been- that's why this whole thing has been so baffling. To that's me. how hurt I am. Right, right. Okay. Yes. You know. So- oh, but look at that. Look at that. Look at that little bit. So he says a pretty decent comment to basically feign connection and ignorance, feign connection and sympathy and to make it seem that they're better friends of what they actually are. But then he also shows up himself by illustrating that if they're, if they were such good terms, why would he immediately go to the most extreme length to prove that he's part of this mastermind of the subreddit when he thinks of him so highly? So, um, so here's the deal. Okay. It's done. At least for me, I don't know, Kalai, you have to work it, process it the way you want to process it. And I'm no, not, I think that for you and I, you know, there's, it's definitely going to take some time because I still feel a big, big mistrust. Um, but, same. but I also same think same for what, what, what's same, <laughs> same. What mistrust because she she told people that you slid into her DM. So what, bro? Honestly, this is a big bag of so what. Who cares that you slid in someone's DMs? Who cares that you offered a trouble to somebody? Who actually cares? It's not that deep. Apologize and move on. If they don't accept your apology, cool. Whatever. Yo, you got one less friend now. It's your fault. You fucked up. Lesson learned. Try and be better next time. Same have each other's numbers and there is a direct line and i'll say i the same i feel mistrust and there's clearly you know some negativity between us but you have my utmost respect thank you i think you're such a beast thank you you're a savage okay. anyway um and, you tor- and i still want to fuck you <laughs> don't you get the feeling that he still wants to smash <laughs> after all this nonsense legitimately if Galila slid back into his dms and said you know what seeing you up close has kind of changed my decision seeing your bloated redacted face and your silly skinny jeans and your crazy trainers and that necklace that you have with your of your kid that's now made me think you know what i want to smash and those tattoos that you got of your kids as well they're gonna remind me of you <laughs> <laughs> when we're smashing you don't you get the feeling don't you get the feeling that brenda still wants to smash i don't know maybe i'm just reading too much into it being a a flipping raging cis gendered male but i get the feeling that he still sat there thinking because mm-hmm. ultimately this comes down to if we're being really honest and brutal about this brenda doesn't think bobby lee deserves kalila he definitely thinks she deserves a a man a strong beast of a dad who i mean he has that kind of idea in his head he doesn't think bobby lee deserves kalila he thinks kalila's wasted on bobby lee hence why he thought i'm gonna take you i claim you i'm gonna put you over my shoulder and do what i want to do but you know he bumped into somebody who clearly doesn't care about looks clearly doesn't care about money and all that sort of nonsense and is in love with the guy that she's in love with and he underestimated his opponent and this is where we're at dates or <laughs> big poppy gringo you well no you're special when you're special when <laughs> you're, why are we no, no, i want to do i want to plug your no, special just I the wanna saddest pl- part of all no, time no, no, i want to plug your there special. you go watch my special everyone watch. go see me in philadelphia next week next week and philadelphia what helium yeah. yeah at the philadelphia mark Harmon. what's his name uh the owner mark uh, uh mark cute what no. no, the owner of oh, the Mark Smart Cuban. something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, great guy. We don't have to promote my Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> Phil, he's going to be at the Philly Helium. Check out his special. And ti- uh, t- I see Tiger, but like a fighter of the kid. <laughs> fighter of the kid and <laughs> King's King's King, Wing. And make sure you get your Thick Boy merch. Thick Boy merch. Okay, give him a run. I have one more or question. Don't. Oh, God, babe. Or, we're or fucking don't. out of I this have, No, I have one more question. Oh, my God. Just, like, just because Guys, don't you ever feel this, like, um... Like, do you ever think that maybe it would be a good, good idea to lean into the Reddit stuff and start selling truck merch? No. Okay. okay. Oh. This is his major faux pas and has been the main reason why we're at where we're at now at the moment. 
if Brendan would have leaned into them, forget the trouble, maybe the trouble is too sensitive and it's too much of a hot button topic in his household. Cause I do get the feeling that that's the one thing I said before. I think that's the one thing that the, his wife, the Mexican Joanna has basically told him, if this is true, I'm gone. So he's clearly trying his best to keep that, you know, under the lid or maybe there's something else towards, I don't know, whatever. Cool. But I've always said, if you would have leaned into the meme, and maybe not embrace the subreddit completely and, you know, reading posts like I do online. But if he would have embraced the meme a bit, he would be in a far better position right now with that subreddit. And maybe the subreddit's toxicity levels and, you know, the way they go after him, they, it, wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be what it is at the moment. But the fact that he wouldn't embrace the meme and he wouldn't even dare to laugh at himself is why we're at where we're at now at the moment. His inability to find himself redacted or to maybe identify with the jokes is why he's so widely disliked, I think, because people can't understand how a stand-up comedian, allegedly, who is a professional stand-up who gets paid to go on stage and stuff, can't see the ridiculousness of their own career. They can't figure it all out. Do you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't necessarily see that. So I think that's been the major faux pas in his career. I think if he would have embraced the subreddit and a meme earlier on, the hate he gets wouldn't be to this level. I don't think so at all. That's okay. all. That was my. Let's question. land the plane again, again, Clyde. I think if, <laughs> if if I got like the the if it was normal, like I said, criticism and and hate. Yeah. If, that's what we sign up for right. being public figures. What was that word? Like I said, criticism and and hate. Yeah. If, that's what. What? If it was normal, like I said, criticism and and hate. Yeah. If, huh? uh, if it was normal, like I said, criticism and and hate. What? Uh, if it was normal, like I said, criticism and, and hate. How can you not say the word criticism? Is it really that hard to say aloud? Let's see. Criti oh, criticism. Let's see how hard it is to say that word. Let's see. Criticism. Huh? Criticism. There we go. Criticism. Is it really that hard to say that word? Criticism. <laughs> Criticism. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue. Yeah. That's what we sign up for right. being public figures. When it crosses over to this evil, toxic stuff, th there's no more fun in it for me. The killing cat stuff. Yeah. No, I get it. It's a, it's a dark place. Reddit. I, I agree. I empathize with you. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, Can I just say one last thing? Then <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, don't want to land up. Or what is this? You know, it, it's just some. It's just my. It's just a thought that I ha I've always had. Right. You know. You know. He, Brendan might not be your cup of tea, but he did do something that was difficult. Now, if you're envious in any in any kind of way, or you're like, "Why him?" and you know, what I mean, he doesn't make me laugh. Whatever. It's like, then you do it. Or or just change the station, I'm or good. or yeah, or mean, switch to something else, or yeah, this it, isn't North or improve Korea. Improve your life, you know what I mean, or whatever. It's, it's just not like North Korea. No one's forcing to watch my. Spot. But anyway, that's my two cents. Um, well, I love you, man. I, I, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's yeah, there you don't yet. Have to. I don't, yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah, to. I wish yeah. I could. You know what I yeah. mean? But um, give him a round of applause. No. It was a brave of you to come. <laughs> What a picture. What a picture. Bobby Lee spudded him and walked straight out. Because they were meant to, if I'm not mistaken, judging by the podcast, they were meant to sit there and go through Brendan's evidence. And he was meant to send Kalila whatever evidence he had about the emails. George is also, look look at George, looking at him thinking, oh, where's this fucking emails? Come on. Because he, he went to their house, he went to their studio, their place of work, their business, and basically alleged you know, that they are responsible for causing all the bother on that fire and the kids suffered it and get them in the drama. So clearly they don't want to be front of the bus either because if it's not them, it's not them. But look at that, mate. If if ever there was a sign, if ever there was a way to, this is the perfect end to the press tour that he was doing for his special. This is the perfect way to end it, right? Turning his back, looking the other way. Brutal stuff, man. Absolutely brutal. If ever there was a way to kind of, you know, um, punctuate the end of a, pretty disastrous podcast for Brendan would be this if you again if you're being charitable I know I'm doing this too often 
you could say, yes, it was a good thing he went on there and it was brave of him to do so, but I don't think it's bravery. I still think he went on there with the sole intention of making himself out to be a victim. He didn't go on there with the intention of like being apologetic and, you know, um, you know, trying to mend it or whatever or make it explain. I don't know. I don't think that was that was his intention at all. His intention for sure for sure was to go in there and paint a narrative that he was also a victim maybe you know more of a victim than anybody else that's concerned with this and in the end he ended up showing himself up and proving that quite possibly his claims that he has about you know this reddit account and the evidence he has was all lies or as people have pointed out he may be just pinning all this on uniques and also have we got any explanation about what happened with the with the lady that he supposedly handed a note to? What happened with that then? Because I think that's what set everything off, innit? Did that? Because I'm sure that happened before the Annie Lederman story, didn't it? That before the truck walk, that happened before the truck walk, where he allegedly on live on stream that Mike Tyson thing. Again, Brendan has the worst luck in the world, isn't it? Like he must have the worst luck. Everything he does always gets caught in fucking 4K. He goes to do that live stream. It was it for the Super Bowl, right? With um, with um, uh, with DC, another guy. I think it's Brandon Marshall, isn't he? He's a former NFL guy, Mike Tyson. And then somehow, yeah. And then they're doing this. Sorry, they're doing this live stream at some swanky LA mansion somewhere. That I guess is some sort of Airbnb. It looks amazing, and they like live streaming it. And then I guess in the break or intermission, they just keep live streaming. Sorry, but they've got cameras set up all around the house. And only Brendan could be so unlucky. The moment the camera's panning to the main sort of living room area, it looks like he kind of, you know, trods over to a group of people sitting down and he looks like he hands a note to some girl. She reads it and then he kind of walks off all kind of proud of himself. And it's caught live on stream. It's not even like anybody's painting the narrative or trying to make it. No, we don't know what the note said. We don't know what the interaction was about. We can't say too much about that thing. I don't want to get sued. But still, he's so flipping unlucky, isn't it? Like, he slid into the DMs of the one woman in, in comedy who doesn't care about his fame or his money. Not one woman, but you know what I mean. Not somebody that wanted to be um, a participating um, person in his, you know, adultery. He then tries to offer a struggle to a young comedian who he thinks might be impressed with him and what he's about. And she's not impressed, clearly. And she kind of shoots it down. And in the little note slip, you get caught in 4K, live on stream in front of the entire world. Oh, 